Hi, this is Jill. Um, I'm going to try to film a video. Uh, this will be my first one. Uh, and I am taking part in One Book July this year. And I had not heard of this till just a few days ago, so I didn't have very much time uh, to prepare. But um, I'm in the process of trying to find planner piece. Um, so I have been using several planners. Um, including Happy Planners and Traveler's Notebooks, trying to find the one that does uh, what I need it to do for my life. Um, so I'm still in the process of figuring that out. And I wasn't sure which which planner I wanted to use for One Book July. Um, if you haven't heard of One Book July, you can uh, go onto YouTube and just type that search engine in, and uh, you'll find lots of videos. Um, it was started by... Uh, Romani from Romani's Realm, Realm and Carrie Harling and uh, Miss Vicki B and I believe this year Mimi is a new added member um, and they do have their own Facebook page and their own YouTube channel so you can uh, go on to each of those and find out more information about it if you'd like to. Um, I decided to go ahead and use my A6 as my one book for July. Uh, only because it gives me uh, enough room to write in and to have everything in there that I need. I fluctuate between this A6 and I love my micro and I went back and forth trying to decide which one to use and I decided to go ahead and use the A6 for the One Book July. Um, right now my A6 is in a sloth vinyl cover from 1407 Planners and I love this planner cover but I am um, waiting for a Speckled Fawns A6 um, that should be here either tomorrow or Wednesday uh, and I'm very anxious to get that and get that set up. So for right now I'm using my, my vinyl uh, cover and it has a cute little sloth uh, charm on it and the sloth on the cover. I also have a uh, camera because I love photography uh, on my bookmark and it's a bookmark that I made and it has just all these pretty little green beads and I thought it went well with the green that's on the cover but inside let me get this open sorry I'm doing this one-handed so um, inside I went back and forth between what I wanted to put in here um, so it may change up and it may stay the same I'm not sure we'll see how it goes I've only done the first day uh, which was yesterday so we'll see how it goes from here out. Anyway, um, I have a uh, just a dashboard that I made myself um, with a sloth uh, vid, uh, image that I got off of uh, Etsy. And I just made my own little cover uh, and put a pocket on there to keep some stickers and um, other things in there that I might need. Um, this is some vellum that came, or a piece of scrapbook paper that came with the sloth kit from 1407. And a year at a glance from 1407. And this is my monthly. Um, and this is by Jacenia Printables. And um, as you can see, I have my July all decorated and some things marked in there. And other things will be marked in as they come up in the month. Uh, I do like to do printables um, because uh, I'm able to find things a little bit more easy that will suit my purposes. Again this is the back of the uh, scrapbook paper and then the back pocket and back part of my dashboard that I made. Um, this is my weekly or my daily uh, insert which is next and this is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I created a cover um, and then I put one of those adhesive pockets on the front and cut down a piece of scrapbook paper with succulents on it because I love succulents uh, and stuck that in there just for decoration and I have a, a page pocket in there also to keep some stickers and this is some vellum I got at Hobby Lobby that I thought was very pretty. And this printable comes from Plannerpedia. Um, I love that their their printables have a colored insert or a cover, colored cover. Um, and this one I liked um, 
because it is a daily, but it also has the month also. So you can have your month there, and it has a tracker um, down here where you can track several things throughout the month. And um, a place to keep notes of what may be coming up this month that you need to keep track of. I try to color code. Um, I only have one child. He's uh, 19. Um, and I try to color code just to keep track of everything that I'm doing, my husband's doing. Uh, my husband has a lot of doctor's appointments that we have to keep track of. And um, hopefully my son will be starting work here soon. Um, and that will be something that we'll track also. Um, so this is just the, the monthly. And I liked the, the size of this in the A6. And it is undated, so you go in and put your date stickers um, as you need to. And it's a day on each page. And what I decided to do is to decorate uh, with a little bit of washi and use stickers where I need to. Sunday uh, was yesterday, and that was the first day for One Book July. And I like that it has the grid up here at the top for uh, if you want a bullet journal. Um, right now I'm using it just to keep track of things that I need to do throughout the day. Uh, so yesterday I did my grocery shopping and I did some laundry. And I noted that it was the beginning of One Book July. And the bottom part of the page has lines. Um, and I thought that would be a great way to incorporate um, my daily scripture writing. I try to write a scripture a day. I have an app on my phone um, that will prompt me with whatever the verse is for that day. And I try to write it down uh, in my planner uh, somewhere that I can uh, remember it throughout the day. Um, anyway, so that's what I plan on doing with that bottom part of the page for the rest of the, the month. Uh, and that's what I liked about this insert is that it gave me the, the space up at the top um, for planning, but then it also gave me the notes section down at the bottom that I could um, incorporate my scripture writing into my daily um, pages. Um, and I have just the first week um, decorated um, with just a few things. Nothing really has come up. And of course Wednesday is the 4th and uh, we will probably be having friends over uh, for some hot dogs and probably shoot off some fireworks. We live out in the country, so we're allowed to do that. Um, and we usually have a group come out that will... Uh, we usually don't have to buy our own fireworks because we have plenty of friends that come out and buy fireworks for us. Uh, we just provide the place that they can come shoot them. So we get to enjoy the fireworks that everybody else buys. Um, so this is just my week uh, for this week. And I've only decorated uh, for this first week. I thought I would uh, use Sunday as my... Uh, plan day and just decorate my week to come. I'm having a hard time turning this page. So through Saturday and then Sunday and then the new week uh, begins. Well, let's see. There's got to be an easier way to do this. And I do like to pre-plan if I can. If I know something is going to be coming up, uh, like next Thursday I have a few bills that are going to be due. And on Friday, my son and I both have dentist's appointments, so I will use sticky notes uh, just until I get the pages decorated and uh, put the reminders in for those. This is the back of the printable insert. And again, those are from Plannerpedia. Um, this is the back part of the vellum that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is another, the back part of the cover for that. And this is another page of the sloth scrapbook paper from 1407. And this next uh, insert is from, if I can remember, I might have to look. Hopefully it's on the back. And it's not. I don't remember where this one is from. I'll have to look it up uh, on my computer. And this one is a daily insert. Um, let me see if I can get a close-up of it. It's got a grid. And it does have times down on this, this side, and then it has a uh, place to um, put some to-dos down here to check off. Uh, here it's just blank, and this is all grid over here. It does have a place where you can uh, circle what month it is, or I'm sorry, what day it is, and the month. And then it does have a place to track weather, which is nice, although here in South Texas our weather is hot, and that's about it. 
And right now we have lots of mosquitoes because we had lots of rain. But I decided to use this uh, insert as my journal. Um, I'm hoping to journal for the whole month. I've tried to do it before and I get going good and then it kind of slacks off. So yesterday I just decorated with some washi and wrote some journaling in there. And I don't know if I have enough pages for the whole month or maybe just for the first 15 days and then I'll have to, <clears throat> sorry, uh, print out another insert. Um, this is a just a piece of scrapbook paper uh, from a book that I got at, um, I think I got that at Michael's. And I wrote journal on this one, but I'm not using it as a journal. I hadn't decided yet what kind of inserts I wanted in here, so I just kind of put a bunch of everything here. This is just a grid. Uh, insert and I think this came from um, I don't remember let's see this came from printable pineapple and I do like their inserts also their inserts are very nice and I have printed all of my inserts on uh, 32 pound paper um, this is another back part of the dashboard uh, where I keep some stickers and um, things that I might need uh, this is another piece of vellum that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. And this insert is from Annie Plans Printables. Um, it is one that she did a collab with Coffee Monsters Co. Um, and I just love the little, the little people or the little doodles down at the bottom and the flowers up at the top. And I'm going to be using this as a way to track um, items that I've pur purchased online through Etsy or um, through different websites, just a way to plan what I spent, you know, who I purchased it from, when it was shipped, and when I received it. So that's going to be that insert. And within that insert, I also have a list insert. And I just kind of stuck this in here because I wasn't sure if I would need to need a list insert or not. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep that. And I don't remember where that one's from also. I'll have to look that up and link that. Um, also, that's the back part of the Any Plans printables, and the back of the vellum, and then the back of the dashboard with another pocket. And this is some more of the succulents uh, scrapbook paper. I think that was from a Happy Planner uh, memory keeping paper pad, and I just cut it down and made a, a pocket folder out of it. And this is a, another printable from uh, Printable Pineapple. And it's just a notes uh, insert. <clears throat> and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to use that for. Um, but I just I thought I needed another insert in here. So I stuck that in here. And this is the, the back pocket uh, of the dashboard that I made. And so that's it. That's what I have going in my A6. Like I said, it may change up. Um, this is only the second day. So we'll see how it goes from here on out. Um, Hopefully the next time I make a video, I will have my new cover, although I will miss the sloths. I think he's cute. Um, then I have my, my pink gem pen, and I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, if you want to know the facts uh, for a dollar. Um, and it just writes black. But anyway, that is my, um, my book for One Book July, and um, we'll see how it goes. I hope you like this video, and um, we'll, we'll see you the next time. Bye.